I want to congratulate you. Yeah, I've you know just had a birthday. What did I do? You had a baby since I last saw you. Yeah. Very. Thank you. I mean, you were. It came you, out. You were on the show recently, and you were extremely pregnant. Why did I do that? I do. Well, it was great. <laughs> you were very funny. But I mean, how the, the baby was born? What two months ago? Yeah. That's incredible. And are you back to doing stand up yet, or anything? Oh no, no. I I'm, I really want to just spend as much time as I can with my baby and her nanny right now. <laughs> so, we're That's, having a great time. Uh -huh. Well, this is, I mean, I've, I've been through this twice. Andy's been through it twice, where uh, we have little kids. And this is, this is the real tough part. You've got a very young I know. This months. is actually my nursing dress. <laughs> it had spit up on it. And then when I got here, your people kind of cleaned it up for me. And, I put some gold on and yeah. ready to go. <laughs> That's so me. Well, you know, we have, I think we have a, uh, a photo of you in the hospital shortly after the birth, you and your oh. husband, Moshe. <laughs> and I love that you both seem pretty disinterested <laughs> in the human life that you've created. You yeah. want to talk about that? that Congratulations much... on your new prop. Yeah. <laughs> that pretty much sums up uh, our, our family right there, yeah. uh, who we are as a family. What's going on there? What's, explain your... your... Okay, so so I had a C-section. Uh, yep. Hold your applause. Yeah. And uh, it was, you know, because it, it was very scary, you know, because I actually had a planned C-section. There's a, there's a term in England, it's too posh to push. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? Yes. Basically, like, why bother pushing? You're probably going to have a C-section anyway. So I scheduled mine. Right. So it was scheduled for 10 o'clock, and then by 10.07, there was just the bloody baby was on my chest. Mm -hmm. Like, did that happen to you? Like, this, it's called skin to skin. And they it want, was like, oh, you want, have to do skin to skin. What? Yeah, they want the baby to be uh, up against the mom's, uh, uh, baby skin to be on the mom's well, skin. Well, it the was baby to... strangling me, and it was really bloody, and I just wanted them to wash it. You're describing it, <laughs> you're describing it like a monster attacked you. <laughs> this is newborn human life that you created. It still had all this stuff on it. <laughs> I just thought they would like clean it and it would smell good. Or yes. I don't know. It was so you're still not sure of the child's gender. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you keep calling it it. Yeah. Well, also, the C section, it was like, you know, the scariest day of my life. But for these doctors, they do them like every hour. So it was just like a very routine procedure. They're talking about politics. Like a doctor has got his hands inside me. He's tugging the baby out. And he started talking about Trump. And I was like, excuse me. I was on drugs, but I was like, excuse me, please. Stop talking about Trump. I don't want my, the first words my daughter hears to be pee tape. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you, uh, I'm guessing you're not a Trump supporter. I'm just, I'm just deducing that. No, but I have to say, I am obsessed with Trump supporters. Like, whenever I'm driving down the street and I see a Trump bumper sticker, I always, like, speed up to see who's driving. Like, I just want to know what they look like. Yeah. And, like, it's never, you know, some guy in a suit jacket, smoking a pipe, listening to All Things Considered. No. Every no. time, it's someone who looks like they know how to use every part of the possum. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I saw a car the other day. It had two bumper stickers. One said Trump 2020. Mm -hmm. Very optimistic there's going to be a 2020. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one said enough with the science. Enough with the, enough with the science is a bumper sticker? <laughs> like they don't want to hear any more about science. Yeah. Like it's up for debate. Yeah. Like, and it's like, let me get this straight, sir. Your car runs on science, okay? <laughs> you got GPS in there to take you to family court. You have uh, <laughs> automatic. <laughs> you got automatic locks in case a minority approaches your vehicle. Uh, you got GPS. You might, uh, I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, yeah, you're going to be fine. The, uh, <laughs> you made a lot of friends here. Uh,